Okay, now let's fill out what we've discovered about the a value, about varying the a value of a quadratic function in vertex form, sorry. So a represents, let's get these technical terms right, a represents the vertical stretch or compression. Okay. By a factor of A. Make sure you have this written just like this when you're describing a transformation form. A represents the vertical stretch or compression by a factor of A. So a stretch is when it gets narrower and a compression is when it gets wider. Okay. When A is, we also discovered that when A is greater than zero or a positive number, so if we look back when y was positive, as in y equals 2x squared or 4x squared, the parabola is opened up. But when a was negative, like for this one with negative 1x squared and negative 2x squared, the parabola is opened down. So we can summarize that by saying when a is greater than 0, the parabola opens up. But when a is less than 0, the parabola opens down. Now, let's also consider... Um, the fraction values of A. Okay, fraction values of A. Oh, first let's do, um, let's, we'll do fractions after. Okay, scratch that. So when A is greater than 1 or less than negative 1, so in these instances, 2 is greater than 1, 4 is greater than 1, um, and in this instance, um, A is negative 2, which is less than negative 1. So in these instances, remember the parabolas were all stretched. Okay? So when a is greater than 1 or less than negative 1, then the graph is stretched vertically. Stretched. It's, it's stretched vertically or, or it narrows, okay? But when you describe it for me on an assignment or a test, I want you to say it is stretched vertically by a factor of whatever the a value is. Good. We also looked at what happens when the a value is between 0 and negative 1 and between 0 and 1. Okay? We did that in this section here. 1 over 2 is 0 0.5, which is between 0 and 1. 1 over 8 is between 0 and 1 as well. Negative 1 over 2 is between 0 and negative 1. Negative 1 over 4 is between 0 and negative 1. Okay? So these are the instances when we considered values um, that are not 0 but are between negative 1 and 1. Okay. If that was a lot to take in, in uh, just a couple of seconds there, rewind it and listen to me say it again, just so you um, can understand what values of A we're talking about. We're talking about values of A that are between negative 1 and 1, but are not 0. So they will appear as fractions. Okay. So when A is between negative 1 and 1, and not 0, the graph is compressed. vertically, or you can think of it as it widening, but make sure again you describe it as the graph is compressed vertically by a factor of whatever the A value is. Okay? Good. So, if we then kind of just summarize everything we learned today, you should, remember you should have this filled out on your placemat, if we just kind of, let's just briefly summarize everything we learned. So, when we, here's the vertex form of a parabola, okay? We noticed that when we varied the value of k, if k was greater than 0, so if k was positive, the parabola moved up. But if k was less than 0, so if it was a negative number, the parabola moved down, okay? So this is the graph of x squared plus 4. This is x squared minus 8. We also learned that when we varied the value of h, if h was greater than 0, the problem moved to the right. But remember, it's going to look like this. Okay? This is the problem that has moved to the right. x minus 7 squared is moving 7 units to the right because we, the h value is 7. The h value is positive 7 in this case. Positive 7 is greater than 0. 
because we we substituted positive 7 in for this h value. Good. And if h is less than 0, as in this graph here, so x plus 7 squared moves to the left 7. And we know this is a negative h value because if we plugged in negative 7 for h, we plug in negative 7, that is equal to x plus, oh, I can write that better. That's equal to x plus 7 squared. Okay, so the h value is negative 7 for this function, and it appears as x plus 7 squared, because when we subtract a negative, it changes to a positive. So when h is greater than 0, the parabola shifts to the right, so x minus 7 squared shifts to the right. When h is less than 0, so when h is a negative number, even though it will appear as addition, that h value is a negative number for this reasoning. So when h is less than 0, the graph is translated h units to the left. Okay, So for x plus 7 squared, the graph shifts 7 to the left. So the vertex is moved 7 units left on the x-axis. Good. Now let's review the last one, the a value. And I thought it was kind of neat when I graphed all of these a functions. You know, to me, that looks kind of like a Spider-Man symbol, kind of neat. Anyways, so a, what a does is it vertically stretches or compresses the, the parabola, depending on the value of a. Also, if a is a positive number, if it's greater than 0, as in these three functions here, the parabola will open up. But if a is less than 0, it's a negative number, the parabolas will open down, as in these three parabolas here. Okay? So, also we learned that if a is between 0 and negative 1, or between 0 and 1, so if it's these fraction values, the parabola is going to be wider than the graph of y equals x squared. So the parabola is going to get wider, or the technical term, compressed vertically by a factor of a. If a is greater than 1, so if, it, if it's 2, for instance, or if it's less than negative 1, so if it's negative 2, the parabola is stretched vertically by a factor of a. So that's all we have learned for today. Make sure you have your investigation completed and you have your placemat filled out. On the next day, we'll fill out this section here for the usefulness of ver vertex form, and we will work with graphing parabolas when we are, are given a, a pr the equation of a parabola in vertex form. Okay, and we'll see why having it in vertex form is useful for doing that. Okay, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments that you need if you have any questions about anything, and thanks for watching.